Hi everyone, um, welcome to the first week of a new season, start of school. I know things can get a little bit crazy now, especially with the traffic and the new traffic patterns. Things are all over the map, but we will get to a new normal and things will flow. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video and explain a couple of things really quick as we're getting started with um, this beginning of the new season. Uh, the groups have changed a bit and I can go into the descriptions of it, but I know for some of you, the more important rationale you wanna hear is, why is the swim time a little bit less than it was before? And that's a good question because as you, if you've known me for a long time, you've always known that I try to do as much as humanly possible to make the pool time available to, to the athletes. Well, especially when we were post COVID and we were starved for pool time, we were getting them in, getting them in, getting them in, let's see what we can do. And what I felt is that we were losing a connection, we were kind of losing the, the touch and the, the technical aspects of everything. So I thought it would be a good idea to slow down at the beginning of this season. Uh, we are the main resource for the high school area swim teams, uh, so we lose a lot of pool time for about 12 weeks or so, and that coupled with the reduced pool time gave me an opportunity to say, you know what, we're bringing on new staff uh, and Coach Jamie, and we'll address that in another video. But uh, I just wanted to, to just say, let's, let's, let's get the groups a little bit more in order. Let's make sure that we have the right people on deck. Let's make sure that we're teaching things in a proper manner, that we have it focused, we have a good curriculum, and that the kids can develop and get into amazing habits early, especially in the younger age groups. Just having them go back and forth over and over again was great while we were trying to go post-COVID and get their heart and lungs back in. But now I think it's time we step back for a few months, really focus in on the technical aspects of what we're doing, increase the amount of dry land time that we're doing as well so we can make sure that their bodies are ready for the demands as they progress through the sport and just give them an overall better experience. So it's kind of a less is more approach. Um, and I don't want you to ever look at it as, you know, how many hours and, you know, money that way. I mean, if I ever looked at the amount of hours that, that I put into this, I'd probably go crazy. So it is nothing to do with the, the number of hours. I just want to make sure that we have the right environment, we have the right information being taught to the kids at the right point in their developmental schedule. Slowing down for a few months, making sure that they have those uh, mindsets and skills and attitudes is much more important than getting in an extra 45 minutes of going back and forth. It's not practice that makes perfect, it's perfect practice that makes perfect. And we wanna make sure that we're not reinforcing bad skills over and over and over again, just in the name of volume or time or to make sure that we have one minute more than a club down the street. I would much prefer us have the best possible swimmers by being educated, by being, uh, having a true connection with their coaches and making sure that they can move forward as they're ready to have more demands, their mind and bodies are ready to. So that's the lead off video for this season. Uh, there's gonna be more parent communications and other things as well, I'm very excited about it. But I did wanna take this to address this issue so we're all on the same page moving forward. This is exactly what I would do for my own kids and I would do nothing less for yours. So thank you, uh, look for more, and here's to the best season yet.